Today we're going to look at installing PyHole on what is 19.3 version of uh, Linux Mint. Now I just want to confirm that this is 19.3 because some people apparently have difficulties, so I didn't have any. And what we're going to do is go ahead and install PyHole. Now it's relatively straightforward, we do a wget, we do a dash o because we're getting the pass through of the file. We then tell it that we're getting a bash and a uh, hyphen install dot ch file and then the location we're getting it from which is the http install dot pi hyphen hole dot net then once that file is downloaded which as you can see took relatively quick um, we go ahead and we just simply run the file using the bash so we're going to simply next next our way through the menus because there's nothing that we haven't explored in previous videos or other things uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Google as my default DNS servers, which is always my preferred one. And then finally, um, we're just going to log in and confirm that everything works as expected. Now, this is a straightforward install. We're not doing any customizations here. We're just proving that the install works seamlessly and that you only really need those two steps. Um, again, it's a simple command, download the bash file, run the bash file, all is good. Now, as you can see, we're almost at the end of the installation, so we're just firing up the package retrieval. There's 18 packages, which we're running at a relatively fast internet connection here, so that shouldn't be a problem. And that's pretty much it now. Those packages are finishing the installation. We should now get a prompt shortly with the password, which we'll use for logging in. And once that's done, we'll be able to go ahead and configure any final um, sessions or configuration options that you might want. Um, this is the bit where usually I'd say always go into the panel, make sure that you've got the latest up-to-date definition files and customize or add any particular blacklists that you want to work with. So here we can see we're now presented with the URL and the admin page password. So we can just go ahead and launch a browser. This immediately opens up in Firefox and we can see we can log in and we can just take the password from our terminal as well here before we close it. I do recommend either saving the password or changing the password, entirely down to you, but obviously makes more sense than running through the install again when you realize you've forgotten the password. So that's it, that's um, PyHole on Linux Mint 19.3.